So welcome to your fourth Java program tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to um, use math functions and what I mean by this is we can have like two numbers and we can add them together using Java subtract them, multi multiply them or divide them all using Java so what we're going to use here is we're going to use variables so we're going to have a variable for the first number a variable for the second one and a variable that will hold the answer so we're going to do int by the way I know I used integer in the previous tutorial but I found out since then you actually should use int um, for some reason integer doesn't always work I don't know why but that's how it is so anyway we're, go we're going to use int so int and then we're going to do first I'm going to do this in lowercase actually first and then semicolon int second semicolon int answer semicolon so there we've declared all of our variables now we're going to declare what their uh, value is now I'm going to be declaring in code since we haven't actually I haven't shown you how to use scanners at the moment scanners basically they detect what you type into the command line so if we would if you knew how to use scanners then we could do you type in the first number type in the second number then I'll add them together but for now we're just going to set the um, two numbers inside of the code so we're going to do first equals and first number is going to be 60 and then second equals and it's going to be 40 now that isn't quite that isn't that difficult I mean that's 100 I think yeah it's 100 so this is kind of pointless at the moment since I'm sure anyone can add up 60 and plus 40 but you could change these to like 1 million or something if you wanted to and now we're going to also set what answer is equal to and obviously we're not going to just type in 100 here because that makes it pointless we're going to type in answer equals first plus second so that's going to add them together and whatever this equals is going to put that as the value of answer also a nice a nice thing about uh, notepad plus plus if I highlight second here it detects that this is a variable and it will highlight wh where else it's used and same with answer same with first it all works like that so now we want to actually display what this is it's all as well that the RAM knows what the answer is but the user wants to know what it is so to do this we're going to do system System dot out dot print line. Need the n, uh, the n on that. Then in brackets, then we're going to do speech mark. In here, we're going to put the answer is colon, and then remember, we've got to put the space after that plus answer. So that was fairly simple. So we're going to save that, and I've got to open up command line for the video. So cd backslash. You should know how to do this, by the way. Then cd Java underscore files, and then we called it math. So Java C Java compile maths dot Java. So that's compiling, and we seem to have an error. Um, oh, I've got my semicolons. I always forget these. Let's just save that again. Try again. Java C. Um, that's got Java. Oh, what? We got another error. Oh, I didn't put it on that one either. Could be helpful. Let's try this one more time. Java C. Um, maths. Dot Java. Put that in so many times. I keep forgetting it. There, it's compiled. So now we're going to do Java, and then math. And the answer is 100, because you need to be very clever to know that, because that is such a hard question. So there you go, that's how to use the uh, plus sign. You can also replace this with minus, or, and that basically minuses. I'm not going to show you it, because that would take ages to compile, but I'm pretty sure you know that that will minus. And if you're wondering, the answer will be 20. We could do divide. Hang on a second. 
the answer is why am I doing it there I mean you can leave that as it is you can replace this with divide or minus or uh, what's the other one times and for times you just use an asterisk so that's how to use math functions in Visu in not Visual Basic in Java. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a um, pass or fail application, and you'll find out what that is in the next tutorial. So for, thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.